on this skill video i'm gonna be going over your viral signs and measuring them and that's gonna be temperature pulse respirations and blood pressure so i got a stethoscope for this let me find i had to kind of i can kind of demonstrate using that but don't really have a blood pressure cuff but just gonna kind of go over the best I can. And um, you're gonna make sure you knock before entering your room, identify and greet your resident. You're gonna explain the procedure that you're gonna do. Like, you're gonna check your vitals and explain to them what you're doing. Perform your hand hygiene and provide for privacy. And um, you're gonna find the radial pulse by placing your middle finger and two or three finger on the palm side of the resident's wrist. And the thumb side next to the bone. You don't take it on the thumb side because often you can hear the pulse of your own thumb. So you can check right here. Use, I usually use these two fingers right here and then put my thumb back here and find the radial pulse. Um, the palm side up. And you're going to count that for 30 seconds. And then you times two if it's regular. And then if it's irregular, you count for one minute. Um, you can continue to hold the resonance wrist and begin counting. When you see the chest rise for the respiration, count for 30 seconds and times two if it's regular. Times it by two. And if it's irregular, you count for one minute. And recount your respirations if you're unsure. And record your respirations onto your paper. And it, the recorded respiration must be within five of that obtained by the evaluator. Make sure that's a very important. Okay, and then going on from your respirations, and you make sure you record your pulse. And it has to be within five pulse counts of that obtained by the evaluator. Um, then you're going to, with the resident seated or reclining with the lower arm on a flat surface, you're going to expose the arm as much as possible and you're going to want to put the cuff on their arm and I was always told to line it up with the brachial artery and usually the blood pressure cuffs have that on their artery marking line at least ours where I work do. You're going to line that cuff up and you're going to squeeze the cuff to expel any kind of remaining air and then you're going to turn the valve on the bulb on the squeeze of the cuff um, clockwise to close the bulb and you're going to want to make sure you wrap the cuff snugly around the upper arm at least one inch above the elbow so about like right through here I was always told again to line it up with their brachial artery um, you want to clean your stethoscope off you want to clean with alcohol preps and clean the ear pieces you clean the diaphragm of the scope and then the bell of it um, then you're going to, like I said, locate the brachial artery, artery, which runs about right through here. Um, and then you're going to place the earpiece of your stethoscope in. I was always told to, when using a stethoscope, you want to make a mountain. Like this would be the mountain, and that's the way you wear it in your ears. You're going to place those in your ears. And um, place the diaphragm and the stethoscope onto the brachial artery. This is why you have the cuff on, so it'll be make my mountain and put it in my ears. And then you're going to want to find the brachial artery, which is usually somewhere around here. If I can hear mine right there. And when you do that, you're going to inflate the cuff up. And then to loosen the valve, you got it. When you loosen the valve, it deflates the cuff slowly, and you're going to listen and note for the systolic and diastolic hearings. The systolic will be the one you hear first, and diastolic will be the one you hear last. And then you want to make sure you deflate the cuff completely and remove it from the resident's arm. And you're going to record your blood pressure on your paper. And remember, the recorder must be within 4 millimeters systolic and 4 millimeters diastolic that obtained by the evaluator and you want to um, perform your hand hygiene um, make sure you clean your stethoscope each time for a new patient and then you're going to report and record
bring kind of observations to your nerves.